Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy South Central, man. We back in the building with another reaction, all right? Today, we're reacting to former liberals versus former conservatives, okay? Me, I used to be a liberal, all right? I would think I was because I grew up in on Section 8 housing, all right? Grew up around liberal people who just voted Democrat. But me growing up, I understand now that just voting Democrat does not mean you're liberal. What I mean by that is that most black people in the hood vote for Democrats because it's convenient for them. They're on Section 8 housing. They're on government assistance. So they're going to go with the people that's going to give them the most free shit. Okay. Plus they're lazy. I'm just going to be real honest with you. But that don't mean that they subscribe to the liberal ideology. That means that they're just doing what's best for them at the time. Now, in today's time, I would say that conservatives are the old liberals, which means the anti-war, which means the less government. Okay. Which means freedom of speech, no matter how you dish it, slice it, whatever. Freedom of speech. You are able to say whatever you want to say. But nowadays, the liberals are, are okay with forcing people to believe in what they believe. They're into coddling people's feelings other than the truth. They will literally be okay with destroying this country as long as one person is not in office. Other than gas being at a, at, at affordable price. Other than interest rates skyrocketing to where buying a home is no longer in the equation other than being able to provide and feed your family i don't think that's a good way to allow this country to thrive liberals are the ones that's keeping us divided because if you don't subscribe to what they subscribe to they deem you as a racist they deem you as a black face of white supremacy they deem they give you these horrible names right just because you don't want to indulge in the foolishness. Enforcing that in real life environments, as far as work, as far as the military, as far as everywhere across the country. And if anybody don't subscribe, they are subject to losing their job. They are subject to losing their children. They are subject to losing everything that they have just because they denounce this foolishness. They try to make it seem like we're not the ones that's causing this division. We are. All right, we don't care about what you got going on, but just don't force me to lie. Don't force me to indulge in what you're talking about. Just because the Bible offends you does not mean we need to get rid of the Bible. But everybody gets to a certain place in their life for a reason. And I would love to hear these guys' reasons, man. So however they got to their journey, let's hear it out. My former political views were cult-like. Can the agreeers please step forward? I, I was gonna say, I think both are just two separate cults, because, like, <laughs> yeah. which is so funny. And I think also sides have like ironically kind of switched because as a Republican now, I'm like so anti-war. I'm anti-sending money to all these different countries that are not ours while people are sick from the water and children are starving. Anti-pharmaceutical, anti-big government, anti-all these things. And I'm like, that is original liberalism. So I'm like, I think I'm more like independent, but I register and I go Marco, as far right as I possibly can I think, as well. I think both sides are very tribal. Yeah. But in terms of cult at this moment in time, I think the left is more cult-like. I, I was in it for 20 years, what's known today as the woke left, but we used to call it social justice left, progressive left. Known by and, conservatives as woke. Right. But here are some of the characteristics that I think make it more cult-like than perhaps the conservative side. One is that if you had questions, you had to check your privilege, or there was always some line that they would use to get you to stop asking questions, which is sort of cult-like. And then the other thing was- there She's absolutely right, because during the pandemic, you couldn't say certain things on YouTube. When you had two opposing sides, one side was right, and one side was just wrong, and conspiracy theorists. All right. You couldn't ask any questions. You couldn't question anything. Just go with the flow. We picked your man to listen to. You listen to him. And that did America a very bad disservice because I thought science was science and science is always meant to be questioned. But that don't mean that we're trying to devalue the next person. What I want to do is do proper research. I want this person, this person to talk it out because I don't know who to believe, right? I'm at, I'm juggling the two decisions and I want to see what's best for me and my family. You take that decision away from me, something is up. 
Okay, I have no choice but to think that something's up. It is kind of cold like because those on the other side was just like, you're just a conspiracy theorist. They made Americans fight with each other over something that was vital to making a choice, free speech, okay? That's vital to America. That's what we stand for. You took that away from us just because you wanted to push a narrative. It does seem kind of cult like and everything a conservative says is fact-checked, okay? And who was the fact-checked by? We know who was fact-checked by. It's not fact-checked by a, a person that truly wants to tell the truth when you get fact checked it's basically saying that you're thinking wrong hey you're you're not supposed to think like that <laughs> you're not supposed to think like that I, I, it's wrong it's not it's no it's not rooted in fact it's just rooted in they're telling you what to think hey you're just wrong on the wrong side of history and that's foolishness that's a cult that's cult like this encouragement to separate from people who didn't agree with you and so i slowly over time like whittled my world down to just people who were in the social justice left and there was really for people who left which i did eventually which was a long process it's a bit like you become an apostate you, you you don't just leave or have different opinions it's it's like once you leave you can't come back that is a cult it's like scientology well i have perspective because <laughs> i came from a really religious background and there's a lot of shame around believing something other than what you're taught because of that it makes you feel like you can't express any questions without being told that you're going to hell you're going to be exiled from your family and so when i started thinking a little bit outside of the lines of what i was always Always told family members literally to this day will not speak to me will not look at me in family gatherings where you're just now I'm gonna cut this out not to be rude when you say your family is cutting you off right due to how how extreme the liberals are nowadays you have to tell us what do you believe that's causing your family to push you out because I don't know that it, I know that they don't just want to push you out just because you believe in something else it must be some extreme like not knowing what bathroom to use and saying that it's okay for people to change their gender at three years old i would leave my family alone too because if i'm having a child i don't want my family around my kid to think like that because now parents could go to jail for people saying hey man this, he's abusing this kid because he don't want to let him transition so why would i want my family member that i, I love Right? I don't want to exile you from the family, but due to your beliefs, you could harm me. Supposed to be like, you're my family. Aren't you supposed to love me endlessly? And in turn, they've exiled me because I don't believe the things that they believe. And Sorry. I think that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. By the way, I, agree. Yeah. I am ironically like pretty far, known as far right in my community, mm -hmm. and then ironically very leftist at times because you can't please everyone. But. I have never cut off a person because of their political beliefs in my life, but everyone on the left did it to me. I will say from my own experience, but coming from the opposite. So especially when the George Floyd incidents were happening, it was kind of, you know, a consensus that you should be BLM, rah, 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 all cops are bad. Mm -hmm. And just me questioning that within my own circles, it's like there's a lot of pushback and it feels a little awkward because I'm just, you know, it's literally just asking questions. If I did have to, you know, point a finger, I would point it at uh, the left or the liberals for feeling attacked by words that are said on the other side. Because there's not all conservatives that are like, oh, you said there's more genders. I'm offended. I'm like, I'm personally attacked by that. <laughs> That's literally only one side. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now hearing that, I could I can second that being a black guy being from the hood being from South Central right during George Floyd's situation they expected you to be pro black pro where, where where's your black lives matter shirt at okay but I knew the backstory of black lives matter and I know who runs it and I know who is back by so I wasn't with the I wasn't with the games okay I'm not with all the black lives matter me growing up in South Central I understand how us as black people treat each other predominantly black area we hate each other depending on what where you grew up at and we don't treat each other well okay so i know that this when i start seeing game bangers who don't like the other side of the town don't like the other side of the street rolling up with the black lives matter posters and black lives matter shirt and all this other shit you knew it was a game like bro you gonna go back to killing you gonna go back to killing later so why are you even playing this game black lives do not matter to you so i knew it was a game but to put it in perspective of what he's saying as a black person, they do expect you to be pro-blackity black. And if you speak out against the black community, you say, I don't rock with that. Even if you say one thing, I don't rock with that. Hey, bro, what what, what you trying to say? You love the white man, Uncle Tom. It's hard to be a conservative in a predominantly black area because everybody look at you like you're supposed to be woke. It's bad because you can't have a, you can't think outside of the box. Your own people force you into this box. Once you try to break out, 
then you're shamed for it. Okay. Then, then, then your Uncle Tom. Then you're the black face of white supremacy, right? You got even white liberals calling you certain names just for you thinking something else. Can the disagreeers please step forward? I honestly think that both sides have very tribalistic tendencies at a time. As far as the question, like, were my beliefs personally cult-like? I don't think that I was in a cult. And I mean, even I think you mentioned that, like. Um, Conservatives don't get offended by speech as much, but conservatives get offended by pronouns. They got offended by Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> they get offended by all I kinds. Agree. Really stupid things. <laughs> yeah, they get very, they get very triggered also. Yeah, and for me, leaving the when I no, that that's not true. I would say that conservatives get offended by you trying to force us to play around with your games and your pronouns, and we know that it's a lie. That's the only problem we have when it comes to wokeism and, and the liberals. Stop forcing us to believe what you want us to believe. That's all we want you to do. Leave me alone with your lies. You go over there with it. We don't care. We're not checking for you. We don't want you. We're not bothering you. When you come over here bothering us, that's when the problem starts. We want you to do your own thing. If you want to be free and live your life, live your life. We're not going here bothering you. But once you start coming into our space and saying, you got to conform, you got to do this. Or else you're hurting me. You're hurting my feelings. And you don't want to hurt my feelings because you might lose your job. <laughs> you don't want to hurt my feelings because your family might not eat at night. That's the problem. That's the problem. It seems like when liberals speak about things, they don't tell the whole truth. They want to tell that, oh, man, you're just offended by Mr. Potato Head. It's so many variations that come with that. All right, it's not as fair as you trying to make it seem like. So you just, just disagree. That's not fair because you forcing me. I left the right. That was something I noticed because I started off as like anti SJW, triggered <laughs> feminist stuff, and I'm like the right is kind of becoming this way too a little bit yeah. with some things like very offended and triggered. I would like to push back a little bit about conservatives being offended by pronouns. I think it's more so that they are being forced and uh, to acquiesce to the pronouns of other people, which is, you know, a form of, you know, controlling speech. Well, don't conservatives get really mad, like, when the whole pronouns and bio thing? No, like, like oh, I, look, you have pronouns. I, I, get, like, I get what both of you are saying, because my thing is, like, why would I ever care if you have pronouns in bio, but yeah. I will never call you by I think them. it's more that people just view it as a tribal signifier. So yeah. in the same way that someone might view, oh, that person has a cross in their profile. Yeah, I mean, faith. like, <laughs> I've, I've definitely, like, if I see pronouns in someone's bio, I'll roll my eyes. It doesn't mean that I, like, same. hate yeah. the person or not, but, but it is going to say, signify to me in 95% of cases mm -hmm. I'm going to know exactly what a I, whole I know exactly host who you are almost are. so I'm just going to stay away from you. I'm going to assume that well, you know a yeah. bunch because someone has pronouns though? in their bio. Cuz I'm not going to participate in your delusion and my thing is like you'll never meet a republican that uses pronouns it's just a fact. It's only Everybody the uses oh, pronouns. Boy, more Everybody uses pronouns. Okay, well, my pronouns now uh, for the rest of the time are pretty princess. That's not a pronoun. What, what do you mean? Those are not even pronouns. Okay, so what are your that's, Zizé, that's Zen, Zer, but, He, She? Yeah, I think that pronouns... Pause. Sorry. Um, I want to pull it back to cult. Yes. Okay? Surf back to the cult idea, we kind of straight in went to pronouns, which I think is, again, it's like a kind of a hot topic. The media really makes you believe that one side is more of a cult than the other. That's all subjective. Some of the people that were uh, that are on my side, it's cultish, but it doesn't it doesn't mean everyone is. Well, let me give you it. an example, like, because I I agree with the, with you that the media is is fomenting these like right side left side yes. cults. A hundred percent. I would say that the media is a part of that cult. They amplify what they say. They enforce what they say. You don't have much conservative popular platforms because they ban them all. Okay, they say something that they're not supposed to say or that gets people offended. Therefore, you can't say it. Therefore, you have to go on other websites. You got to go on other platforms like Rumble. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, so like when I quote unquote like left the left, yeah. it was because I had begun to question the policies that were surrounding the whole COVID situation. Mm -hmm. And I experienced cultishness on the left and the right for sure. But what, what I found was if there were people who were willing to listen to me, they were like 95% of the time they were on the right about like, 
I think the government is trying to control us. I think that they're trying to force us to do X, Y, Z things. I only found ears on the right, except mm -hmm. in maybe one or two cases. So like for me, I was like, like when they when the prompt is like, oh, the the left is or, or your former side is is a cult. I like that was that was very visceral to me. There was a section of the right that I could talk to, and they didn't feel like there was a section of the yeah. left. Well, you can always talk to me about it sometime if you want. I'm, I was left, say, I'm me more too. than happy to talk I'm to you about the COVID stuff. Thank you, my friend. I think Trump will win the next election. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if they don't steal it. Trump, uh, I think he's the greatest president we've ever had. And I, <laughs> I love him. I've loved him for a long time. Personality, everything. I will say, the more they do this witch hunt after him, uh, he just keeps getting more and more popular. And it, you, now that we have free speech on Twitter, you cannot deny that people love him. Like the black community is coming forward. And it's just funny because I love watching them go after him because I think elections at this point are 100% fake and rigged. I just watched the rise think in that popularity. If he wins? Huh? Are you going to think that if I he think wins? That, I mean, with the entire world against you, I'd be shocked. But I just think now it's harder for them to hide it. Yeah, I mean, I had major, major TDS uh, for, for his uh, Trump derangement syndrome. Yeah. Um, a lot of people his... on the right have it. They were, like, obsessed with him and crazy. It's the cult thing. They, yeah, it's the um, cult thing. I, I, had, I had major Trump derangement syndrome uh, through his pretty much his entire first presidency, except I was a little softer towards it, towards the middle of 2020. But even so, I didn't really come around to liking Trump until after he was president. I went totally like uh, Republican um, in my viewpoints, but I think that like, I came around to liking him unfortunately, after his presidency, because I saw what we got next. And so now it's- I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna lie, man. What got me to understand that I was conservative was Trump. I'm anti-government, okay? I'm not Antifa, but I don't want the government in my business. I don't want them spying on me. I understand that the, I understand that the media is a big part of the government and they will lie to you and they'll lie to you in your face and tell you that they didn't lie to you. Fake news. Okay. Love it. I understand how it feels, right? Watching through history, a person trying to do the right thing when everybody's against. I can't do anything but root for that person because I understand how that feels. I understand that it takes some sacrificing in order to try to right people's wrongs. And I do understand what he's up against. And that what made me want to rock with him because me being from South Central, me being shit in a hood i understand that shit man like you you need to get behind people that's trying to trying to make stuff right and we don't have that in the hood like that we don't okay i used to be a liberal i used to hate trump i used to watch cnn i hated trump so much that i hated hearing his voice when all these lies were told about him and i watched the full video by myself to see what the f they were talking about and they played shorts okay they chopped it up and played what they wanted to play to, to, to control a narrative and once you hate a person so much and you see that they were right all along, you have to get behind that person. Because if you don't, what that make you? He had people straighten up, okay? He had the swamp rattled a little bit. And we need them gone. We need them gone because there's people selling out our country. And the only way for it to stop is for someone to fight against them. Black people used to love him, all right? Black people used to love Trump. But now, now they hate him, okay? The, all those rappers used to love him. But what that does is show me that rappers are not honorable. To be honest, he's much better than any Democrat that I've seen, okay? Especially the person he was going against. But part two tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye.